We need effective drugs and vaccines to protect our soldiers from biological weapons. But developing countermeasures for each threat is a time-consuming process. To meet this challenge, the Department of Defense is leveraging advances in artificial intelligence and biocomputational models to revolutionize the drug development process. Guide, or the Generative Unconstrained Intelligent Drug Engineering Program, is a groundbreaking capability that will massively decrease the time required to develop medical countermeasures. Originally conceived as a DARPA project, GUIDE has matured under the Joint Program Executive Office for Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Defense as a new program to discover antibodies and other types of medical countermeasures with unprecedented speed and accuracy. What GUIDE aims to do is to generate antibodies that are going to keep us safe. So that could be the people that protect us, um, our, our military, our police, our uh, medical professionals, when they go into one of these regions or into an outbreak situation, we need to have something that can protect them, um, and we need it fast. One type of countermeasure guide develops is antibody treatments. Antibodies are naturally produced upon exposure to a specific pathogen. They prevent future infection and are a key part of the immune system. In the virus that causes COVID, for example, the best antibody target is a small part of the virus's spike protein that it uses to attach, enter, and ultimately hijack a human cell. GUIDE uses the antibody's DNA sequence to generate a 3D representation of the antibody and from this rapidly develops new antibody drug treatments. This is done through a tight, iterative process of computational and biological experimentation, separated into three phases, co-design, test, and learn. The GUIDE co-design system uses AI, simulation, and structural bioinformatics to model in 3D how an antibody or another kind of measure might bind to its intended target, like a viral protein. We call this phase co-design because we simultaneously consider multiple factors that are important for a drug product. Not only do we want the antibody to bind very strongly to its target, but we also want it to bind to many real or potentially emerging variants or strains of the virus, for example, while still being safe to administer to a human and be robust enough to withstand the harsh processes in manufacturing at scale. We do all of this upfront in the beginning simultaneously before we send the candidates off to experimentation. We do this by modifying a closely related antibody and then evaluate whether the new antibody design is better or worse at binding to the desired target. But we also have to consider variants of the virus, which increases the complexity. The space of antibody designs is about 10 to the 40th. Uh, that is too large of a space to fully uh, synthesize in the laboratory all possible antibodies to any particular antigen. Even by leveraging the fastest supercomputers in the world, it is not possible to evaluate every combination. To solve this problem, we use custom computer models designed to prioritize certain changes to the antibody molecule. Ultimately, our pipeline will prioritize just a few hundred designs predicted to meet our criteria. These need to be tested or validated in a laboratory to ensure they behave as expected. Here we leverage the Guide Rapid Response Laboratory, which contains state-of-the-art, high-throughput testing capabilities. First, the antibody's computationally designed genomic sequence is converted into DNA and inserted into biological cells. These cells then express the new antibodies which we quickly expose to the viral target. If they bind well, the antibodies are considered strong candidates for further testing at our partner laboratories. High throughput processes enable these tests to be completed in record time, allowing us to iterate quickly. This is accomplished by leveraging robotic automation and highly sensitive instruments that can evaluate small quantities of antibodies. Once we complete our test phase, our machine learning models are updated with the results. Whether a good candidate was found or not, the information gained from this process can be used to retrain our models for the next design campaign. GUIDE is one piece of a comprehensive Department of Defense drug development pipeline that includes other JPEO programs and partners. For example, promising antibodies also require further testing by drug developers to understand how the drug interacts with the human body 
before seeking FDA approval for clinical use. We are a highly collaborative team and want to ensure the very best technologies are used in our drug discovery pipeline. As such, we partner with other national laboratories, government agencies, leading academic institutions, and industry. We look forward to working with you too.